When taking blood cultures, start the procedure by doing a seven step technique of hand hygiene as set out by the World Health Organization. You may use soap and water or alcohol gel on visibly clean hands. Greet and consent your patient at this point and consider any contraindications to why they are may not be used for sampling. If happy, start by cleaning down your sterile field in the form of a tray or wipeable receptacle using an alcohol or sporicidal detergent wipe, cleaning front and back thoroughly. Once dry, gather the equipment including a disposable tourniquet, two green clinelle wipes for the tops of your bottles, an aerobic and anaerobic blood culture bottle, checking that the bottles are intact and within their expiry date, a blue clinelle wipe for skin preparation, and a winged device used to collect blood culture sampling. Open the packaging and drop in as the key parts are already protected. Dispose of packaging, place gauze in the tray and decontaminate your hands once again. Bring the items to the patient's bedside and begin by palpating an appropriate venous site for sample. Common sites include, but are not limited to, the antecubital fossa or the dorsal aspect of the hand. Once a vein is found, use the blue clinelle wipe to apply skin preparation and cleaning using a cross hatch technique for a full 30 seconds cleaning time. Dispose of the wipe in the bin and re-clean hands once again. While the skin dries, remove the caps from the blood culture bottles. Now using an individual green clinelle wipe, clean the tops of the bottles using all four corners of the wipe ensuring that the shoulders of the bottles are covered also. This removes any dust or debris and helps prevent any cross-contamination of the bottles. Each bottle should be cleaned for 30 seconds and allowed to dry. Decontaminate hands once again and apply the tourniquet 10 centimeters above the sample site of where you will inject. Apply non-sterile gloves and ensure that the, you do not repalpate the skin again before injection occurs. Arrange the bottle so that the aerobic bottle is closest to the patient and sampled first. Remove the safety from the wing device, anchor the vein and insert the butterfly at a 20 to 30 degree angle as per venipuncture. Apply the top of the device to the aerobic bottle and allow 10 ml of blood to enter the sample. This is indicated on the side of the bottle in 5 mm increments. Remove the vacuette and release the tourniquet and repeat the same on the anaerobic bottle until 10 ml is obtained. Notice that the right hand stays firmly on the needle at all times. Once the sample is finished, engage the safety device on the needle until it clicks 
and apply gauze over the site. Dispose of sharps into the appropriate sharps bin and apply white nail pressure to the site to encourage healing and present bruising. Invert the bottles two to three times but do not shake and check the patient's demographics and label at the bedside with the correct information. Once complete, remove all PPE and packaging from the area and dispose in the clinical waste. Decontaminate your hands a final time before leaving the patient's bedside and sending the samples to the laboratory as soon as possible. Documentation of the procedure should be completed in the nursing or medical notes, ensuring that time, date and sample site is recorded.